Now, in order to understand a little bit more about electrostatics, we're going to need to know the difference between conductors and insulators. Conductors conduct electrons well. So metal is an example of a conductor. It's a conductor because there's lots of electrons in here which are free to move through the substance. So because the electrons carry the negative charge, they can easily change the charge distribution within the conductor. Insulators, on the other hand, so for example, wood and rubber tend to be relatively good insulators. With those ones, if we place charges, the charges are not free to move, so they tend to remain wherever they are placed. Now, being a conductor gives things some interesting properties. So let's try a little thought experiment here. Say I've got this piece of metal here, good conductor, and here this golf ball is going to be a negative charge. Now, if I move the negative charge near my conductor, the negative charge is going to repel the electrons inside the conductor. So the electrons will actually move from this end down this end to try and get away from this negative charge here. So this conducting metal rod overall is still neutral, but it does have a charge distribution with a positive end and a negative end. So when we've got a positive end and a negative end, that can sometimes be called polarized. Now, if I move the negative charge close by and then take it away again, that charge distribution is just going to return to normal. So now I've just got a neutral metal rod with no charge anywhere. However, if I move the negative charge and touch it onto my conductor, then some of the negative charge can transfer from this golf ball onto my conductor and so then when I take it away there's still a net negative charge on this rod. So once that's taken away this charge now evenly distributes along this conductor. Now if we can understand this we can understand how an electroscope such as this one works. So an electroscope is a useful um, instrument for measuring the voltage on something. So we'll learn about voltage later, but it's, it's related to how much charge we have. So this electroscope consists of a metal, which is a conducting plate on the top, which is joined to a metal rod, which runs all the way down the electroscope. Now attached to that, so it is attached, so charge can pass, is a pivoted needle here. Now, what I can do is we've seen how we can charge up a PVC pipe to make it negative. So what I want you to do now is make a prediction about what you think is going to happen if I bring this charged PVC pipe close to the top of the electroscope there. 